there a reason why it's not pink here? Uh, no. Just, just genetics. They wanted something that kind of stood out. Okay, just... So, a sort so of the game can makers, can not genetics wise. or anything like that. Canon wise, uh, the only thing that's brought up about his pink hair is in this first section that we're going to jump into. This safari looking guy jumps out and goes, Wow, look at your hair! <laughs> Basically. <laughs> what? Alright, oh, Load game? No, uh, well, we're, we're, we're going to jump into a new game. New game? Alright then. Well, before we do this, what's the dealio on. On you know, oh, kind well, of like. Well, let's uh, just reconvene in sort of. This is the monkey's feet. Woo! That was it. Now, Aha! <laughs> we're back. Yeah, welcome to the wonderful loading screen of Tombi. Wow, it's pretty good. I like it. Yeah. What are they doing? <laughs> you don't want to know. Oh. Probably. <laughs> This is okay. the second intro video, okay. as was partial to a lot of PlayStation 1 games and things that couldn't get enough of their beautiful graphics when they had them. Of course. Mm -hmm. Also illustrating a couple of things that you can do in the game. Swinging from vines. And spinning on shit. Yes. And landing in the main, in the, in the first area. And suicidalness. Whoop. Yeah, oh, here we go. Jesus, it's too There deep. we go. Hey, you with the pink hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> As you'll see, the graphics are quite... Uh, They're pretty modern, aren't they? <laughs> they are at state of the isn't, art. Isn't that the guy that was running away from his carriage in the intro video? Quite possibly. I think so. No. If you were a play oh, that. Oh, yeah. Actually. If you were a play that. All right, well, let's have a look right now. Uh, That was great, wasn't it? If I put that in there. If not, ha, sucks to be you, user. <laughs> <laughs> you 14 people, you. <laughs> Well, this guy is basically saying there's a whole bunch of signs in this first area that you can read by pointing the direction oh, button up like and pressing the circle button or B in this case mm -hmm. to read. I don't like. I don't like. Uh... Right. Well, see you later, mate. Now let's do something that I didn't figure out until a year after I bought the game. Ready? Yeah, go on in. <clears throat> what? And now it's almost 3D. It's two and a half D. Like popular game Trine. <laughs> What? And now I've captured a tornado in my pocket because that's the kind of fucking <laughs> nonsense that we're about to embark <laughs> oh, on. Jesus. So hang on, it went from 2D to 2.5D. Yes. What's, what's 2.5D? 2.5D is exactly this. Basically, I'm playing on a 2D plane, yeah. but I can go into the background and things are happening in the background. It makes it look a little bit lovely and 3D and sexy. Got it. Okay, so right. pioneers of modern games yeah. is uh, this. Also, in Tombi 2, coincidentally, mm -hmm. um, was one of... They, they switched to actual 3D and it freaked the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> yeah. Now, because I know what I'm doing around this beginning part, I can swing up here and visit this lovely monkey while it tells me what I'm supposed to do to jump off a spinning vine of death. Is that mist. in... The t is this part of the game? What do you mean? This How would you ever see that monkey up there? Oh, eventually you will see him. Like uh, also, if you, when at the beginning when you fall down, you actually catch a glimpse of it. Now, if I jump, oh, oh, come on, Tombi, get your act together. Oh, I need yeah, to. I yeah, need Tombi. To, I need to. <laughs> nothing to do with the person it's controlling to do with Tombi. Me. <laughs> I have excellent control. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> right. Okay. So I just spin round, round, round. And I have to jump up. Oh, look at there that. There we go. Now. Also, when Tombi jumps on people like this, he's not actually just jumping on them. It's described in the booklet as biting. Okay, that's so, confusing, if anything. Yes. Now this parasol Leave me alone. wearing monkey okay. is uh, <laughs> quite hair. displeased with us. And your pink hair. Because he's hungry. And okay. what do monkeys eat? Bananas? Yes. I got that one right, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right, so he doesn't want to talk. And he's hungry. We'll come back to him. When we've got some bananas, exactly. I'm guessing. Wow, I'm a genius. Also, this is a hilarious <laughs> fruit that does this. <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> what does that do, sorry? It does this. <laughs> <laughs> also, fruit. somewhere... Oh, shite. In here is a frog. Which gives you another you, quest to take know, this frog home. Quest? Yeah. So we're getting quests. Now I've got a frog on my back. See? 
What is happening here? Just to illustrate <laughs> that. <laughs> Basically, what? I'm a small boy with pink hair and a six pack that would make anybody jealous. I'm already jealous. <laughs> yeah, go on. And a yo-yo. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's a it's called a blackjack. Fair enough. Not entirely sure why, because it's a mace, but okay. And the world is made up of two separate segments: these annoying people in safari outfits okay. and pigs. And we're looking okay. for our grandfather's bracelet. Yep. Which is worth more than the gold that it's made of because it was our granddad and he's dead. Yep. Sentimental value is is quite a big part yep. of a lot of stuff in our lives. It indeedly is. Indeedly. Indeedly. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's sorry. dead now. It's dead. All right. <laughs> also, there's a bit coming up right now. Sorry, Safari Man, and anybody who was actually trying to read I that. I wasn't reading it, so. Yeah, it doesn't I matter. Hate reading they it. never say anything important, trust me, until yeah, you okay. get up to the point where you meet the old men. Well, let's wait until we get up there. I don't yeah, and also, when I'm like, oh, I forgot the frog runs away. If you go through a door. Ah, <laughs> uh, so you've lost the frog. Yeah, I have. But you see this sort of two snails having sex thing in front of me here. Is that what's happening? Because I don't no, know much not. about sex. It's so. actually two wheels. Right, okay. And this, oh. which is one of the mystifying moments that I didn't understand. So I was Tom is sitting down because he's bored of me talking. I'm um, sure. And one of the Why parts you... that I didn't actually understand what it was until I came back to the game many years later is this. What popular song is this? Oh, it's Sorry. not. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, right, so I saw that as a child and I was like, all right, that means cool. nothing. Let's go through here. Oh no, I can't because the way is blocked by three bits of wood. Yeah. So I left and never went back until I came back to the game years later. But of course I know what it does now. I'm not and that's tell the you. end of the first series. <laughs> we still have we still have no idea. Yep. <laughs> what? So, so you go over the top. Oh no! I need to use an item to blow away the fog. What item could I possibly use? Let me Frasier? get this. Let me try to get this. Okay. Your breath. So I'll open up my my items. You have items. Yeah. Blackjack. And what did I pick up earlier? From that. Uh, mailbox, I can only assume. Oh, uh, yeah. I You've picked got a tornado. A tornado. <laughs> so, so you're going to use wind against wind? I'm going to use wind against fog. Oh, okay. To get rid of it. That's... Like any sensible human child would. How old was the age of this game? What is about a you? In American terms, and it was a... Uh, How old? Because I... I'm struggling to comprehend what is happening at the minute. That's all right so because I'm, the, I'm 21. Yeah. And this is confusing me. Well, obviously, those two years I have in you have made a huge difference because obviously <clears> I know <throat> if I go outside and it's really misty, I just pull the tornado I've got in my pocket out exactly. and get rid or, of it. Or just blow really You just really stand hard. there going <laughs> <laughs> like an asthmatic in a storm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's use the furious yeah, tornado and get another wonderful cutscene. Mate, sounds good to me. Why did you open that? T it sounded like you did it twice. See, wonderful cutscene, getting rid of all the mist because that's pass. apparently how mist works. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, it would <clears throat> does make sense that wind would get rid of mist. It does. Kind of, but I don't know if that's actually how it works. No. I would imagine it's not too far off. At least. What's that phoenix? Okay. It is a coca bird. Right? And these coca birds have stolen these eggs to raise them as their own. But they're actually full of these little lovely chicks. Uh, okay. Yeah, which I'm... How do, you, how, how do you know all of this? Can because I I've had this game since I was about six years so old. So, how many times... And you've played this how many times? Oh no, I can't open that because it's a hundred years old. Um, I have played this countless times. Right, so it right, takes... Right, so first of all I have the demo. It takes countless times to oh, understand to all, of this. all of this. You'd have to be mad or have, you know, uh, half a lived lifetime to understand all of it. And even then you still don't know everything that's actually going on because there's still mysteries in this game that bewilder even me. Okay. It... And our quest is to find the bracelet. Yes, we have to find our grandfather's bracelet, which is in... Where, where is this explained anywhere so right far? Right at the beginning, not... in the well, opening in the sequence, yeah. 
because you have a bracelet on your arm and then you wake up and the pigs uh, are gone after they mug you and your bracelet has disappeared miraculously, those thieving pigs. (laughs) (laughs) Fair enough, that's a good description. Right, so let's continue across. Well, it was in my childhood day Spirit, now I'm a savior. 